This new recall for the 6.2 liter gasoline engine just catapulted the 3.0 liter Duramax diesel to the top of the best engine available. Look at that, 597,630 vehicles potentially involved. That is massive. Now we have the final updates as to what is exactly going on with this recall and how you get coverage. This is deep. I know this is a 3.0 Duramax diesel channel, but the 6.2 liter is always the top contender of, do I get the 6.2 or do I get the 3.0 Duramax diesel? And so on this video, I'm actually going to focus on the 6.2 itself as we have all of the information in regards to the recall. Like I said, it's 597,630 total vehicles involved. As of today, the big question is, what is going on with this 0W40? This is included in the stop sale currently at the dealerships. So if there is a vehicle within a dealership, they cannot legally sell it. And the fix that GM is pointing towards is switching to 0W40 engine oil. Now, I'm gonna tell you whenever we do the full recall for the actual people that own the vehicles, it's very different. You're getting 0W20, but I'm gonna go deep into that because this info just came out today. So what vehicles are involved? Well, quite a bit. Here's the list right there. And what is the issue or condition? Well, the connecting rod and or crankshaft engine components in these vehicles may have manufacturing defects that can lead to engine damage and engine failure. Now that is why I kind of laughed at the 0W40 thing because 0W40 isn't going to fix a physical failure within the engine. However, as part of this stop sale where the dealerships, if they have the vehicles in there they're actually supposed to look for a p0016 code set and if it's not set in there which honestly i've personally never seen that in one of these that have failed but if it doesn't set the new vehicles in inventory are getting 0w40 the other vehicles that are getting these replacement engines are actually getting 0w20 put back into it so you're probably wondering what are the symptoms well honestly if the engine starts knocking it's about to break down and in a lot of cases some people don't even get that notification it actually just seizes and then you're stuck. And the problem with an engine that seizes, if you have the electronic transmission to where that your shifter is electronic, then you cannot even go into neutral and you can't move the vehicle without being towed out of place or there's a special procedure. But if it breaks down and you're in the middle of the roadway, you're not crawling underneath to get that thing put into neutral. So it is a very dangerous situation on that. So what is the safety risk? Is it safe to drive? Well, like I just explained, I don't know, it's a little sketchy. Does the customer have to pay for this remedy repair? No, remedy repair available now. Yes, currently it is. Now these engines were on major, major back order for the longest amount of time, and we can see why they've been trying to figure out what the issue actually is. So how can customers check to see if their vehicle is involved in this recall? Well, you just gotta go to gm.com slash service or the NHTSA's website. And like I said, the repaired engines or replaced engines are getting 0W20. The service procedure that the technician is going to be doing after it's been verified through all the paperwork and everything if there was an engine replaced at any time because the, like I said these engines were failing left and right even the replacement engines were failing at a very alarming rate and here is the breakdown if it was built before the 24183 code which that's that one right there see how this one is 24114 and then the one that I replaced right here this is actually 24100 this engine was in the vehicle for just a couple months and it actually came back with a failure so that was a bad engine right out of the box which is very unfortunate but it is said that the 25s do not have this issue because they had this figured out by that time and they are not part of this recall hopefully this clears up some things about this recall it is a humongous recall like i said 597,630 potential vehicles involved now this does say estimated percentage with defect three percent i actually don't believe that i believe the number is extremely large i've been replacing a lot of these engines and i know a lot of gm technicians have as well so hopefully your vehicle gets taken care of and you don't have to be put into a situation where you are stuck on the road. Yeah, I know I started this off saying the 3.0 Duramax diesel is probably the best engine at this point in time. I still believe the 6.2 is a solid engine and that's why I am so happy that they actually have this resolved and I can once again say to people that ask me, should I get the 3.0 or the 3.0 or the 6.2? I can have an honest conversation with them because I really hope that these new engines are trustworthy like they were in generations past.